Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. And today I'm gonna to show you an organization that I'm pretty proud of because this game, I've seen a lot of people complain about trying to get everything back into it. And uh, I just finished up organizing uh, this heavy box. Zero Leader by DVG Games. And um, this one has a lot of pieces and a lot of cards. And uh, I also organized it with the um, uh, Expert Pilot deck, the expansion deck. So let's take a look and see what's inside. And if you like what I'm doing here in the 3D printer, you can download some uh, STL files from my website, thenerdworkshop.com, the and um, print them yourself. So let's see how it looks. Okay, so Zero Leader um, posed a, a bit of a problem with as many things that there are for it and then the expansions that you can buy with it. So originally what I did was I had these type of counter trays in here and, and I have a whole bunch of these left over. I mean, I just got a, a ton of these that I pulled out because I, I printed a lot and put them in here, uh, which I will be using these later on. I'll show you in future videos how I incorporated these in other games. But the problem with this, you can see that it doesn't expand all the way across and there's not enough room here to put one sideways. So they don't quite fit in there really well. And you end up with an extra one of these um, containers outside of the box. And I did like, I didn't mind the sliding part. And this, this particular one is for uh, the American Revolution uh, games that I have, the battle of, for the American Revolution games. And I didn't mind the sliding part so much, uh, but it was just kind of... I kind of like just having a lid that goes on top that holds everything in place. What I decided to do is I expanded that out a little bit so they fit all the way across here. And you see this fills the box just nice. And then I also, this particular game has um, different bandits for different ears that you use so that when you pull this, um, let me pull the spacer out. This is my spacer piece here at the top because we do end up a little bit extra and if I needed to, I could actually add something in here if I wanted to, but I, I was able to fill everything up here. The Japanese Air Force, um, when you open this up, you see that we have all of the planes that we need for the Japanese Air Force, and I incorporate our two dice with the little dice uh, engraved here at the bottom. And each one of these has some game counters and then the bandits from that year, so that when you you know go to play the 1945 all you do is just pull this out now you are going to have to take off the lids for the other ones because i do have other game pieces in the different ones and i felt that that was a better better way to do it and have all these organized to make it easy and you just pull from these when you need it but you just take the lids off and just pull what you need everything has its own slot so it's really easy to find all the stuff and the thing about Zero Leader is that it also has a lot of cards with it. So in the bottom here, once we get all of our boards and our playing aids out of the way, uh, I made these trays here that fit in the bottom. And uh, the cards like really fill up the trays, but they are made, the trays are made for the sleeves for the cards. And I also made it so that you can get the Ace Expansion and put it in here. Now I don't have the recruit expansion. If you get that, you're not going to be able to fit it in here. I just couldn't figure out a way to get all of that in here. But, um, you know, I was able to get all of the game pieces, the event cards, and the ace expansion in here. 41, 42, 41, 42, 42. And then adding the spacer piece. Now, um, the space piece, I kind of would rather have it down here. There we are. I want to try and have, I sort of have the map there, so the map's not quite long enough for everything. But that'll keep the space piece nice and flat. Everything's in here, all in the box. The box is heavy, but everything fits perfectly in the box and it holds everything in place tight so that when it's on the bookshelf, nothing gets knocked around. So if you'd like to, you know, make some of these on your own 3D printer, I do have STL files available on my website. There's a link below. Please do like and subscribe. Leave any comments that you have about this. I uh, always appreciate hearing from you. And hopefully you'll be here for the next video. Thanks for watching this one.